Hello everybody, I hope you're having a wonderful day and today I have an unboxing to share with you guys. My unboxing knife is going to be my Devo Knives Pony Stout or Mini Stout, whatever you want to call it. I can't seem to get this little guy out of my pocket. It's just been quite wonderful and I'm, I don't know why I'm just failing on all these deployment methods. This thing has a review coming. There's a lot of good per usual with Devo Knives, right? right. But there's a couple little things that I want to touch on that um, maybe not everybody will agree with. But overall, it's been a pretty wonderful experience. Let's get into this. I also bent out the steel pocket clip like an idiot. I got caught onto something. I don't even know what it was. And I bent out the clip. Now it's like, it's a tapper now. Whatever, not a big deal. We got something from TRM and this is very exciting. Um, this drop. They're probably all gone now. Sorry. They're probably all gone, per usual, with TRM, because they produce about four knives a year. That's a joke, obviously. But, uh, incredible. Incredible attention to detail. Their micro-milling skills are, uh, I don't want to say second to none, but they're pretty freaking beautiful. I have experienced one other TRM and it was the uh, micro milled holy nerd. Gorgeous knife. Ridiculous cutter. It was actually just a little too small for me. Sold it on half sale. The person who owns it was a very happy camper. But something became available and as you can see in all of its glory. This is a very special something. <laughs> um, now, I'm sure some of you that know my taste, you guys are probably wondering, why didn't you go with the smaller one? Because this is the Atom. The Atom is the larger variant of their, I guess, flagship flipper. There's also the Neutron 2 that also comes in this just, oh my god, that is just freaking beautiful. Fuck me, man. That's great. Wow. And you know what? I completely... I'm sorry. I lost my train of thought there for a second. But it doesn't have that weird milling, like, chatter mark. It is just so completely fine. Now, there is just a, the tiniest, tiniest little bit of, like, milling texture. But, you know, like, in between the actual... Oh, man. I just... I don't know how to talk right now. Inset steel liners. I believe it's like a three and a half inch or 3.4 something inch blade. Those thumb studs, it look a little whack. I'm going to be honest with you guys. Um, but I heard the action gets pretty sweet after a while. This is running on phosphor bronze washers. So I'm excited for that because some of my favorite knives in my collection are running on washers. So this just this feels good. This feels really nice. All right. Oh, <laughs> I don't even know what I was worried about. That was so easy. Ooh, that that is snug. Yeah, that's nice. That's really nice. I like it. I'm so happy I got this. Let's see if I could reverse flick. Yeah, yeah, I could do that. It's uh, it's basically on the scale, uh, and I can't really like use the actual tip of my finger to do it like I do on some other ones that have texturing I gotta get my nail underneath it's not that uncomfortable but oops, let's not lose a thumb here yeah no that's that's actually pretty comfortable they do offer these little rubber o-rings that go around to add just a little bit of cushion cushion and maybe just a tad bit of you know color pop things like that I'm probably just gonna get black or maybe gray I don't know other glow in the dark ones i think that'd be kind of cool um looks like t6 for the body screws t8 for the pivot axis on the show side and this is not a right left-handed knife it's just for right um so i think it's weird that they have the axis on the show and not on the back i doubt that could be flipped around if that's captured on one side versus the other i don't know i'm gonna take it apart like i do with all my knives don't ever be scared to take apart your knives Nowadays, 
you say that you'll void the warranty, but you really only void a knife's warranty. You practically blow the thing up and then try to get your money back from it. Um, but yeah, that is a... Uh, that's not like super, super snappy. It's just kind of more of a dull thud. But giving it a little bit more juice, that's starting to sound pretty good. And on the clothes, it's not drop shutty at all. Um, I was holding the lock bar down. Giving it a couple of good shakes there. That is really good looking. I like that. And the tip is pretty low. I'm very excited. I'm gonna take this to work. Yeah, I'm actually gonna use it. I'm gonna use a fancy boy. And this is priced as such. It is a uh, like three hundred and eighty-five dollars or something like that. It's a it's a good bit of money, but what you're getting here is just some of the most insane U.S. tolerances here. Twenty CV. The finish that's on the blade. It is a very very fine grain. Of just wow, those are some pretty nice scratches. I like that. Uh, the actual finish on the blade itself. The edge looks extremely consistent, and we will do a little paper test in just a second. I'm just, I'm looking for anything to really nitpick visually at the moment. I'll be honest with you guys, this thing looks pretty freaking nice. It's nice and soft in there, you can't touch the tip, you can't feel the blade. It has three standoffs back there, I don't know if that was really necessary. Maybe just... Probably could have got away with just two, right? Right. The clip's nice. I I don't mind that it's bent steel. You know what? Let me just check that really quick. It probably is a steel. No, no, it's not. It's titanium. I was I was expecting to hear this like big like clank. No, no, it's a it's a folded over tie clip. That's cool. That's exciting. Are the liners titanium as well? Huh, look at me. I'm just an idiot that just spent 380 something dollars on a knife I know nothing about. Well, you know, welcome to uh, knife nerd stuff. Yeah, those are, that's a tie liner. That's pretty cool. Huh, well. Yeah, I'm very excited to use this thing. There really isn't anything nitpicky that I could really think of at the moment. Um, yeah, I mean, it's, it's a gorgeous looking knife. The action, well, it's what you could expect to be, you know, brand new and on uh, washers. Getting my nail underneath that, put a little bit more force behind it. It's pretty comfy. There's no texturing on the studs, so they're, it's not going to tear up my nail. So I don't mind doing that, actually. Um, it doesn't feel too hefty, but it does feel significant. Let's get the weight on this real quick. Let me grab a piece of paper. 4.2. Alright, that's, um, yeah, sounds alright. Still, I feel like that's a good bit of knife for the weight. We got some paper right here we can test this bad boy on. Oh yeah, oh yeah. That is very thin stock, that is beautiful. Pretty delicate up to that tip, don't want to be doing any type of crazy work with that. Yeah, that sounds beautiful and consistent. Just nice and bitey. That's nice. That's really nice. Mm -hmm. I am very pleased with this. This is cool. This is going to be fun to use, fun to carry for a little bit. Um, I'm probably going to take a little bit longer on this than the majority of my other knives because this is on washers and I've made, um, honestly, a very poor I guess, judgment call when it comes to doing the reviews on knives with washers because they end up getting a whole lot more enjoyable 
probably about a month or two after actually, you know, getting them. But it shouldn't be too long to actually be able to speak on the actual experience of using the knife overall. But the action is what uh, ultimately ends up getting a lot better versus something that's running on uh, bearings, whether they're steel or um, ceramic. But this is just... I mean, this is good looking, it's starting to sound good, and it's made in the U.S. What more can you want? <laughs> Maybe a little bit of texture on those studs. <laughs> Alright, whatever. Let's wrap this up. I hope you guys enjoyed this unboxing. I know I definitely did. This thing is just, just stupid gorgeous. Um, if you are subscribed, I most definitely appreciate all your, all your guys' support and your patience, of course. If you are not subscribed, consider subscribing because I have plenty more content coming your way anodization videos, other modification videos, unboxings, reviews, things like that. So with that being said, I will be linking down what I can in the description. As I mentioned before, this is not available, but follow them on Instagram, follow them on any other platform that they have because they make drops. And I got this on a drop. It wasn't just random. It wasn't just sitting there. So you gotta, you gotta kind of be on top of it if you want something like this. So with that being said, I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day.